So this one is false. Because if you take a rational number, an irrational number, and divide it by a rational number, you'll still have just a scaled down number of a irrational number. So if we changed it, let's say that x was our irrational number, maybe pi or Euler's constant or the square root of 2, then you've got to, you've got to take that value and divide it by itself, but you can also multiply that by any rational number, like 5 maybe, because this would cancel out and that would give you now a rational number. All right, I did not explain specifically what an irrational number is. An irrational number is a number with a decimal that will never repeat or terminate. Because once it terminates or repeats, it becomes a rational number. Some examples of irrational numbers are pi, Euler's constant, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 5. Any square root of any non-perfect square would give you an irrational number. Wait, is 